As an SUV brand, it was only a matter of time before Jeep decided to take subcompact crossovers seriously. The response to this rapidly growing class of car is the capable, affordable, and absolutely adorable Jeep Renegade. But don't let its cuteness fool you, because the Renegade is the real deal both on and off-road. But wait, doesn't Jeep already have two subcompact SUVs in its lineup? Why yes, they do. But the Renegade is slightly smaller and significantly more refined than both the Patriot and Compass. And when you factor in stronger residual values, more features for dollar, and better fuel economy, the Renegade also represents the best value of the three. With its place in the universe established, you might also be asking, is the Renegade a genuine off-roader? The answer boils down to which version you choose. Front drive models fitted with the standard 1.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder and six-speed manual transmission have a difficult time getting out of their own way. While up-level four-wheel drive models equipped with the more powerful 2.4 liter four-cylinder engine and close ratio nine-speed automatic have the chops to tackle more than just rutted fire roads. But when it comes to rock crawling and high-speed desert driving, only a Renegade Trailhawk will do on account of its five-mode traction management system, loftier off-road suspension, and active drive four-wheel drive with a low 20 to one crawl ratio. Despite some chassis flex and resulting panel creaking, our Trailhawk tester did everything we asked of it. The short wheelbase put to rest any doubts we had about clearance, and ride quality was surprisingly compliant on washboard trails. To top it all off, Steering alignment remains straight and true following three days of hardcore off-roading. Not unlike the larger Jeep Cherokee, however, the Renegade's nine-speed automatic transmission could benefit from a few semesters at finishing school. Time and again, when we floored the gas pedal to set up a pass, it took nearly three seconds before it kicked down to the proper gear. Yet, on a brighter note, Chrysler's Autobox helps two-wheel drive Renegades achieve an EPA-estimated 25 mpg combined, with four-wheel drive models dropping that combined figure by one. Two and four-wheel drive models paired with the standard 1.4-liter turbo return an EPA-estimated 24 mpg in the city and 31 mpg on the highway. For what it's worth, our four-wheel drive Trailhawk averaged about 22.4 mpg during our road test. On pavement, where the majority of Renegade owners will spend most, if not all, their time, the Renegade is quiet, comfortable, and really easy to drive, thanks in no small part to responsive brakes, precise steering, and, of course, excellent urban maneuverability. Inside is where the Renegade truly differentiates itself from its more senior stablemates. For instance, the dash and door inserts are constructed from soft touch materials. Seat comfort up front is more than adequate, and the armrests are exceptionally well padded for this class of car. At 35 inches, rear seat legroom is nearly identical between the Jeep Renegade, Chevy Trax, and Mazda CX-3, but roughly 10% tighter than that of the Honda HR-V. Much is the same story behind the rear seats, where the Renegade offers a bit more cargo room than its Chevy, Mazda, and Nissan competitors, along with the added bonus of an optional full-flat front passenger seat. We're also a huge fan of the cabin's simple yet tasteful layout. Then again, Jeep went a bit overboard with the aesthetic details. From a Sasquatch silhouette to an anthropomorphic spider shouting, Chow, baby! Both the interior and exterior are plastered with more gimmicky adornments than a TGI Friday's. So, the price. Beginning just under $19,000, the Jeep Renegade undercuts the Honda HR-V, Mazda CX-3, Nissan Juke, and Chevy Trax by as much as $2,000. The most of these competitors include Bluetooth, cruise control, air conditioning, and a backup camera as standard fare. Adding such expected standards to a Renegade inflates the sticker price to around $23,000. Spring for a fully loaded Limited or Trailhawk and you'll drive away with heated front seats, an eight-way power driver's seat with adjustable lumbar support, 
passive entry with push button start, Chrysler's easy to use Uconnect infotainment system with a 6.5 inch display, and removable roof panels that couldn't be less intuitive. Though a well-equipped Renegade offers a lot of car for the money, $30,000 seems a bit steep for a subcompact crossover. Nevertheless, the Renegade remains a great fit for anyone who seeks a splash of Jeep capability and a road-friendly package. Yes, there are some rough edges in the powertrain department, not to mention that embarrassing assortment of gimmicky embellishments, but taken as a whole, it's safe to say Jeep has a winner on its hands.